Good day and welcome for a new presentation in his and different radiology. I'm Dr. Osama Ibrahim and today our appointment number eight from radiology in GIT. Today I'm going to talk about the hypertrophic osteoarthropathy, which can be a secondary cause for the Crohn's disease. So let's start our presentation. The learning objectives from my presentation today to highlight the possibility of secondary cause of hypertrophic osteoarthropathy, which is written as HOA, as inflammatory bowel disease, Crohn's or ulcerative colitis, which can be considered as a secondary cause for that pathology. Crohn's disease, also uh, I present one case from my daily work cases of Crohn's disease, which can be a cause for that HOA. The contents from my presentation today will define the HOA and classify it secondary and primary. And I mentioned how to differentiate the primary from secondary according to radiological view. After that, uh, my reference for that presentation. First of all, definitions of HOA, hypertrophic osteoarthropathy, is a syndrome characterized by symmetrical periosteal reaction. So the main issue here in the radiology is the periosteal reaction will uh, be symmetrical of the long bones. So it describing that hyperperiosteal reactions in the long bones, not in the axial skeleton, uh, without an underlying bone lesion. Also, this is another. Uh, uh, another point uh, of view for HOA diagnosis, uh, there are no underlying bone lesions with this uh, periosteal reaction. Uh, sometimes clinically, this uh, HOA is associated with clubbing of the finger and the toes for, uh, as well as also abnormal soft tissue proliferation for uh, uh, some patients, particularly with primary uh, form from that pathology, as I will mention it in the next slides. So if we presented by case like this case of the tibia and fibula, and we find the periosteal reactions in both tibia and the fibula by a symmetrical way, as we see here in these images, uh, so at that time we describe it as a bilateral symmetrical periosteal reaction for both tibia and fibula and this is the definition for HOA. So we can uh, describe it as HOA at that situation and we should at that point to discriminate if is it primary or secondary because secondary have a lot of uh, uh, systematic uh, pathology so we should discriminate it and also rule out one by one for the causes of this HOA or hypertrophic osteoarthropathy. So we point, we shifted now to the next points, which is the classifications of HOA, primary and secondary. So primary HOA, <coughs> secondary HOA is called the Pierre Mary. Uh, Pamberger syndrome. So this one is uh, uh, the two scientific uh, uh, physicians which describing that uh, in the previous century. So secondary or that syndrome is uh, the description for HOA. However, primary is the primary cause uh, and it mentioned as a pachydermoperiosteosis. Uh, clinically, pachydermoperiosteosis is associated with hypertrophy of the digits, arthritis and arthralgia, pachydermia, thickness of the skin with the folds B or the crescents be uh, uh, discriminating clearly, and hyperhidrosis, uh, uh, hyperhidrosis like these hands which have excessive sweets. Uh, so this is clinically can discriminating the pachydermoperiosteosis. Uh, the secondary uh, types of HOA is the most common uh, secondary is due to chest uh, pathology. The bronchogenic carcinoma considers the first possibility. Bronchiectasis is another one. Lymphoma also in the chest can cause that pathology. Uh, it, in the abdomen, the inflammatory bowel disease like Crohn's and, uh, and ulcerative colitis can cause also or can be considered as a secondary hypertrophic osteoarthropathy. 
also in the abdomen, the biliary cirrhosis uh, can consider the as a cause. So there are a lot of causes in the secondary. In the pediatric, <coughs> cough is a disease and cystic fibrosis should be considered if we presented with hypertrophic osteoarthropathy or symmetrical uh, periosteal reaction. Uh, 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 in the pediatric groups, we consider cough is disease and uh, cystic fibrosis as a secondary cause if we wanted to uh, uh, describe it as a secondary. And now, how to differentiate radiologically between the primary and secondary? This is uh, according to the literature, the periosteal reaction in the secondary form occurring at the area of the metaphyseal. However, the primary is okay, including the epiphysis in uh, the periosteal reactions. So this is uh, radiologically how to discriminate between both uh, cases also, or both types, subtypes of the hypertrophic osteoarthropathy. The other issue, when the hypertrophic osteoarthropathy due to secondary chest cause at that time is called hypertrophic pulmonary osteoarthropathy and we adding P letter uh, after the H here and mentioned as HPOA. Again, if presented with case like this, with there are hypertrophic osteoarthropathy in the radius and ulna, both radius and ulna showing periosteal reactions as we uh, discriminate here, and also the metacarpals, particularly the second one, in both hands have symmetrical periosteal reactions. At that time, we can uh, thinking about the HOA and we searching for primary and the secondary cause for that patient. Actually, this patient have bilateral symmetrical periosteal reaction, as I mentioned, both radius and ulna, as well as the metacarpals, particularly that one. This patient was a Crohn's disease patient and have this finding, so this finding can be happen uh, with uh, uh, the Crohn's disease. It is uh, HOA and uh, it patient have Crohn's disease and Crohn's disease considered one from the secondary causes of HOA. So all those cases of Crohn's disease, we if we presented with a, a radiological finding like this, we should uh, make it as association finding or diagnostic for HOA secondary. And these CT examinations which are done for a patient presented to uh, 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 radiology department in my daily work cases uh, and the suspected appendicitis, actually the appendix appeared normal because patient complaining from uh, right iliac fossa pain, however the ileum is thickened and after making uh, the normal thickness of the cecum and the ileum after uh, laboratory tests uh, and this is the ultrasound uh, uh, which shows also uh, uh, a tube with a thickened wool at the right iliac fossa regions, however it is not blinded so it is diagnostic of the ileal pathology not appendix MRI done for the patient, and this is MRI with contrast showing enhancement of the wall of the ileum. All these findings from my daily work cases, diagnostic for the Crohn's disease, laboratory test is also confirming the diagnosis. So if I presented this patient with Crohn's disease like this, I should uh, also examine the uh, bones. And if I find a periosteal reaction in long bones, uh, it considers as hypertrophic osteoarthropathy secondary type due to inflammatory bowel disease. <clears throat> Again, this is another patient with uh, high periosteal actions in both uh, TP and fibula as well as the distal femur also. And this is described as symmetrical periosteal reactions of the left femur, tibia, and fibula. And we consider it as a HOA. And uh, in the C2, CT, uh, uh, there are uh, uh, lesions here in the chest, uh, which is considered as a bronchogenic carcinoma. So, as the situation, this is the secondary cause of the uh, uh, HOA uh, due to the uh, chest uh, as a cause for the HOA. So, we describe it as a hypertrophic pulmonary osteoarthropathy or HPOA. So, HPOA is uh, similar for HOA, but if the cause is chest, so at that time we consider it. So any patient with hypertrophic osteoarthropathy, this is the home message from my presentation today. If presented with patient like this, have uh, periosteal reactions bilaterally symmetrical, always check the chest to exclude the presence of the bronchogenic carcinoma as a cause for that pathology. And also, uh, if we have patient with inflammatory bowel disease like Crohn's disease, 
like our case I uh, the case which I presented uh, before uh, so uh, the if the there are perilous reactions it considered as HOA secondary to the Crohn's disease what is the bone scan finding in this uh, patient of HOA the bone scan finding in this patient of uh, bilateral perilous reactions and symmetrical appeared also by the bone scans by the same way as we uh, see here, the nuclear medicine technician 99M hydroxymethanate so diphosphonate, this is the tracers which you used for the bone scan, uh, shows or reveals bilateral symmetrical cortical uptake in the post-distal femur and also tibia fibula. So this uptake is re re consistent with the periodic reactions seen in the radiograph and if the patient have uh, any abnormality of the like Crohn's disease for example so consider all these secondary hypertrophic osteoarthropathy <coughs> at the end of my presentations I hope I provide you with clear knowledge about uh, uh, HOA or HPOA uh, thank you very much for watching and have a nice day